So if you're looking for a all-in-one solution for live streaming, video recording, wireless webcam, USB webcam, and all the accessories included, as you look at this unboxing, such as the 4K camera itself, a tripod, SD card, a removable battery, plus an extra battery, a card reader, a pouch, and all the cables and mounting accessories you will ever need, plus a remote control. Well, welcome to the AI Coco live streaming camera. 4K, baby. This $399 kit may solve all your live stream problems all your recordings. If you're a content creator, if you're looking for a one-stop shop, this device right here may be the device for you. Now, before I start this video, to be transparent, AI Coco sent this device out to me for review, but all my thoughts and opinions are mine. So let's have some fun. Sit back and relax and get your popcorn ready and follow me on this journey. Let's go. What's up guys, this is Eric back with another video. So I wanted to shoot parts to this video outside because I think this camera shines very, very well outdoors. Uh, and so what you're looking at right now is the AI Coco. I'm outside and I have it manual mode, right? And the reason why is because in auto mode, you have a lot of flickering and stuff like that. So I will highly suggest using this camera in manual mode. The image quality here is something that I'm surprised. The uh, audio quality here gives almost a thumbs up for this camera. Uh, now, right now, I'm shooting at 4K, 30 frames per second. And you can shoot in different modes here, but I really like this camera. I really like this camera. But you know what, let's talk about some specs here of the AI Coco. So check this out. So the AI Coco is a 4K wireless live streaming camera with a 1 over 1 8 inch Sony Starvis 2 CMOS sensor at 8-bit color. It has either vertical or horizontal shots for selfies or first person shooting. Now the lens can rotate 180 degrees for that smooth effect, which is really nice. Now the Creatus kit, you get two batteries, a charger, uh, and each battery that can last up to 240 minutes. But the good thing about that is that it's hot swappable, so it will be no disruption in recording. The AI Coco features IPX4 rainproof, so it's no worries about getting this device wet. You can live stream on multiple platforms using up to three cameras at the same time, which is really neat. Plus, with the smartphone app, you have full control of all aspects of the device. Or you can use its 2.4 inch touchscreen to interact with it. And lastly, this camera can withstand up to 158 degrees Fahrenheit for extreme temperatures. So you get all the goodies with the AI Coco. All right, guys, so let's go over the AI Coco along with the application. Now, when you download the application, you can control everything here uh, to the AI Coco and, and it does it wireless. Uh, but looking at the construction of the device itself is the all metal bill here and here. Now your camera here, it uh, turns, it rotates. Okay, now this is plastic at the top, which is, uh, you know, really nice, but this is a all metal bill. Now you got a quarter inch here for mounting. You have a quarter inch here at the bottom for mounting. Uh, uh, here you have your USB slot, right, uh, that you can connect to your computer. Uh, and over here you have your microphone input. Now, in this video, when I did the park scene, uh, I have my wireless microphones connected to uh, this module to get that good audio. And I'm going to tell you, the audio is really good here. Uh, now, one of the things that I like about the AI Coco is the hot swappable battery. Now, as, as much as I have it on here, uh, if I take the battery out, I can exchange it for the one of the included batteries that it has, uh, you know, when you buy the Creative set. And you have your SD card here, which also comes with the Creative's kit. So when you uh, plug it back up, boom, you're good to go. So, I, uh, now this is a touchscreen. 
Uh, and looking at the touch screen, right now I got it at 4K, 30 frames per second high. And you can make all your adjustments accordingly right here. So if I click on it, I can go to as uh, standard def, uh, full HD and HD, and you can select frames per second and uh, bit rates. Now it goes 4K 30 frames per second. It does not go 4K 60 frames per second, just so you know. All right, so uh, let's get out of here. Now the touch screen is okay, right? Uh, it, you know, it, it, it's responsive. Uh, so let's go to click here. It'll let you know that uh, if you want to set up for the app, you click here. Uh, and as for wireless, right? If you want to connect wireless, you click again, there's USB. They tell you to connect to your PC. And uh, this is going to be the video. Now, when you look at uh, the uh, the phone app, you do, you could do everything here, which is really nice. You could go live. Uh, you could use the USB camera. Uh, and you could go wireless and you got video. Now, if I click video, it's going to start recording. Uh, now, if I click open here, I got to set up the Wi-Fi, so I got to connect this to Wi-Fi in order for this to work uh, on that. And I got it in HD, which I can change it here on my settings. Go to 4K, okay, and I'm going high bit rate, so you can make all your adjustments here. Now, when you go to the settings here, uh, and this is where you can make all your adjustments. I know in the video I talk about all the adjustments that you can make. You can lock in. Now, it, it, as far as the scene, you can go outdoor, indoor. Right, uh, you got HDR, uh, you got your white balance. I have it at 5,500 Kelvin, or you can go auto, but uh, I like to keep that locked for so I won't have flickering. You got electronic stabilization. I would advise you to have that on, all right? And you have automatic shutter, which you can uh, set your shutter speed to whatever you like. Uh, then you have your ISO, go all the way up to 6,400. Uh, you have a microphone setting. You have your ratio, which is 16 by 9, right? Or you could go 9 by 16, which is going to be for TikTok and, and shorts. Uh, when you go to the settings, um, you got all your encoders. You have your fans. You got your volume. You have everything here in your encoders. I mean, in your settings, right? You can make all your adjustments. You can format your uh, SD card. Uh, but yeah, as far as the, the application, the application go hand in hand with the device itself. Again, with the creator's kit, you get extra batteries, you get the remote control and this lovely tripod. And if, uh, one thing that you take away from this video is that this tripod right here is the truth, right? You connect your phone right here, you connect the device here, and you can actually do some panning and tilting it. Oh, I like that, man. That's so smooth. So this thing here definitely comes in handy. I really like that, but yeah. This is going to be the AI Coco along with the application. All right, guys, so here it is. I'm out here at the park, and I wanted to test the uh, image quality of the uh, AI Coco uh, camera here. Uh, so one of the things that I really do like about this camera system is that they, you can they have a nice display on the front where you can see everything, uh, which is really nice, right? Now, I got everything on auto mode, which you can go into manual mode and fix everything if you want to. So uh, you see how things getting lighter, things getting darker. Uh, and as you can see, things change with the background being so bright and me being uh, going underneath trees and stuff like that, uh, you definitely gonna see a difference. So right here, right? Uh, uh, since I'm underneath the tree, the auto uh, settings are kicking in and it's brightening me up. Not, not blowing out the background too much, but uh, I would have to put it into uh, my video editing and see how good the quality is and give y'all guys my final assessment. All right, guys, so I want to show you guys manual mode, right? Uh, because in auto mode, as you saw early in the video, you saw things flickering, you saw things going dark, going bright. So right here, I got everything set. So it's no going in and out. There's no white balance changing and stuff like that. It's There's no uh, getting darker, getting brighter. And as I go underneath the tree, you see it's maintaining the same amount of uh, settings, right? It's not changing at all. The background is not changing. Nothing is changing. So I got this set, right? So I have it set that uh, you won't make, it won't make any automatic changes. So if I go in the dark, it's going to be dark. If I go in the light, it's going to be light. Uh, but I wanted to show you this part of the video is because I think it's important to know that you can make all your changes. You can make all your settings where well, you can change all your settings. You can do everything uh, in the settings to get the best image quality, period. Okay, so here's my thoughts 
and some pros and cons with the AI Coco. Let's talk about some pros, right? First, the image quality. In manual mode, I really do like that you can set everything up. Plus, with the application on the phone, uh, you're good to go. I really do like that. Plus, I like the screen in front so you can see everything. Plus, you can use the screen on the camera. You can wirelessly connect. That is a pro. Plus, the audio sound really good here on this camera. So it's definitely a pro uh, when you talk about image quality and sound quality. So that is a pro. Next is the versatility of this camera. This camera could be a one-stop shop for everything, such as live streaming, recording videos, USB webcam support, and more. So this can be a one-stop shop. And you can live stream wireless to your phone to, to three sources. That is really amazing. So that is a pro. Next, the build quality. Now this camera is rock solid. I really do like the build quality here of the AI Coco, and that is a pro. And lastly, the Creators Kit is the way to go. You get everything you need, plus the tripod, you get everything, and I'm using everything that AI Coco sent me and it is amazing. You get the remote control that that's, that works very well. Uh, you get the tripod, which I really like the tripod. You get a lot of stuff with the uh, the creator's kit. You get the extra battery, you get all that good stuff, right? A charger, you get SD card, you get all that stuff with the creator's kit. Now, you can buy this camera without the creator's kit, right? Uh, but at the end of the day, I would say go for the creator's kit because that is the pro. That is the pro here with this camera. Okay, so let's talk about the cons, right? First, the battery life. Now, even though it comes with a second battery, the battery life is okay. You know, 240 minutes average. I think I inked out about, uh, about 200 minutes, which, listen, with the extra battery, it's hot swappable, so that is a good thing. And lastly, um, $399, right? It's a bit pricey for these type, for this camera. Uh, and look, don't get me wrong, I'm putting it as a con, but it could be a, a pro too, because with the creator's kit, you get everything. Uh, but you could just buy the camera by itself for $350. I would recommend that. I would recommend getting the creator's kit, because if you buy just the camera itself, you don't get all the goodies, such as the tripod and stuff like that. All right, I will leave all product links down in the description below. This is like the Tech Preacher. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think about the AI Coco 4K wireless streaming camera in all his glory. See you guys on the next video. Peace.